Welcome to the SOAP UI tutorial learning session 11. So in this tutorial we will be looking over the data sync and the DAM file property. Okay? So how we can, if you want to extract the response or if you, if you want to extract the data from the response or from external file so that we can do it using the data sync. Okay? And DAM file it will just store the external response to some external file. Okay? Just we can save it as a text file or CSV file. So let's get started. We have a written explanation of it. Okay. okay, so let me show you how we can use the data sync property and the property transfer uh, together if you want to export our response to the external data file like uh, text file or uh, Excel file. Okay, so for the same case that I have used before, okay, just you need to add one step, uh, go to add step and add data. Add data sync okay so for this case i have already added the data sync and see if you use the data sync you will have uh, options like data sync from where you want to export okay if it is excel file groovy jdbc separate separate option there first i'm going to show you i'm going to export this response to the particular file okay and one thing you have to take one thing uh, you need to create one parameter Okay, just let me tell you, I mean, what exactly it is doing. So from the data source, uh, we are fetching the data, we are passing the data to a SOAP request, okay? And from the SOAP request, we are fetching the data from the response, like uh, from the M string, the player name is getting fetched, and we are passing the data to the property transfer, okay? And from the property transfer, it's passing the data to the target source. Target source is the data sync. Data sync will be storing our data to, to the external file. So the response data via property transfer we are passing to the data sync okay so for that if i want to pass uh, store the data to store the player names uh, to some existing uh, to the to some uh, external file like text file that i have created okay not this one uh, let me create one text file uh, text player I have created one text file player and now I am clicking the browse. This is my text file. This is a comma separated file, SP character is uh, quotations that must be made. Okay. Okay, so when the output will be printed in the text file, it will be inside the inbound double double quote. Okay and it will be comma separated and so let's just run and we will see the result so it's finished successfully the green uh, it's showing green test step total this is successfully done and uh, so you can see from the test step that from the data source is fetching the data to the software request then it's passing the response by property transfer to the data sync data sync is storing the data then it's again the loop is continue until and unless all the uh, data source that has been used okay so data source are used fetching this from the xls file that xls file, all these things is getting fetched okay uh, and uh, if you check, if you see the see this compare options, so we can see total 15 data row for so the 15 content has been passed. And in my case, I have taken this property value only. Um, suppose I want to take this property M string. Say for this only I have used. Let me choose this. So source will be request goalkeeper that I have used property response. And expert, expert that I'm only chosen is like is an initial one I want to print. Okay, so first name is chosen. Uh, sec, I mean, uh, in the same way, you can also print the second one, third one, you can also print all the child items. Okay, I've given example for the first one. Suppose this one I want to, uh, I mean, from the response I want to export. Okay. And target, I have used the data sync target and property passing the same part of the data sync country property. Data sync country property that I already have created. Okay. So now let me see the result. This is clear. 
so okay, you can see for 15 country data it's uh, fetching all the initial name of the players okay so for each and every country player name successfully got uh, exported to some external file now suppose this is uh, our file now suppose this is our file and for this uh, i want to generate the goalkeeper name uh, inside the file itself okay so how i gonna do let me take it to my API. So we have another options like Excel. So just choose that browse options and choose Sophie Y properties file country and output file will be country. Okay. Output file I'm choosing as a country and worksheet. You have to mention the worksheet. Worksheet name is country name. Country name. And make sure that uh, I want to print the goalkeeper when I starting from the B2. So I have to give starting at self B2. Okay. So same thing has been configured. This is the property country property, which is coming fetching data from the property transfer via uh, which is taking it from the response. Okay. So all things has been set. Now let me run it. Initial is blank. Let me just close this. Excel. running step by step okay it's finished this is my total transaction log uh, for 15 uh, country and this is the fourth step is so response proper transfer data sync and data loop so 4 into 15 is 60 along with the test total 61 step was passed successfully okay so let me see the country itself okay so you can see this all the goalkeeper list and the response has been successfully printed uh, beside the country that has uh, used as a data source okay so guys in that way you can uh, export your uh, export your response a particular response to some uh, out to some uh, uh, external uh, file or external excel excel file yeah you can import you can use the Groovy scripting also if you want to export these things of uh, export a response. So you have seen that uh, first will be the data source that will be used is helpful for uh, providing the data at the soap request. Then to save the data will be used the data sync and to continue looping through the soap request will be used the data source loop and property also will be using to phase the data from the response and passing it to the data sync. Okay. So okay guys, that's all for today. Try to experiment all those things. Uh, we'll get to know more about it. Uh, let me show you one more thing guys. The way we have used the data link. There is another way you can also save the uh, response. Okay. So unlike the data sync, it will store all the external response into the, some particular file. Okay. So for that, we'll be using uh, one request properties that is called dump file. So if you if you go to the test request properties, you will see and if you scroll down, you will see there is options called dump file. Okay. So in the dump file, you have to mention your uh, which location you want to get that uh, file. Okay. So mentioning a file as a extension dot text, and if I click on that, run. This is my basic soap request, and it will gen generate all the players from all the origins from all different different countries. Okay. So all this huge response starting with uh, Aaron Rajesh, then Aaron Ramsey. So all the player list I should get as XML format into that external file. Okay, is my dump file. So just navigate to that. Okay, so any drive. This is the location I given, and this is my dump file. So see all the response that exactly the way the response I've got. All this response are successfully exported to the external file. Okay. Uh, so guys we have seen so basically we can use the data sync uh, to export our test results or to extract our test results from the response to some external file and if you want to export our whole test response to some external file we can also use the dump file okay so that's all for today guys thank you for watching